Hello my cuddle bugs and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited that you guys came back because I have a brand new series for you guys. So this series some of y'all will love and some of y'all will be like, ew, what? 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 What, Anna? Anyways, listen to this. So my series is going to be remembering my grandma. My grandma raised me. She's the reason I'm alive. I was supposed to be a vegetable and she oversaw that and made me who I am today. So this entire series is going to be dedicated to her and in each little video I'm going to be talking about a memory with her and how much I enjoyed living with her and growing up and she's pretty much my mom and she passed away in 2011 and I just miss her so much so I thought I would share with you guys her recipes. She made so many different things with the little money that she had because she was working at a grocery store for minimum wage and taking care of me and my sister. So these are going to be some recipes. Um, I think it's going to be about 20 videos long and they're going to come out on Wednesdays I believe and they're starting today. So each Wednesday can um, prepare to see a different recipe and story about my grandma who raised me. Um, there's going to be like a big shebang in the end that everybody knows my grandma for. Um, I just got to get my sister to cook it because honestly I've tried to cook it. My dad's tried to cook it. My aunts, my uncle, everybody. But only my sister has been able to replicate her recipe. So that will be the big shebang at the end when I can get my sister from Minnesota to cook for us. So the first recipe today. Hi baby. Say hi. So the first recipe today, you guys are going to be like, oh my God, you ate that? And some of you are going to be like, oh my God, I used to eat that too. So what it is, is tomatoes. So tomatoes are very cheap. You can grow them yourself. We used to get them from the neighbors and from the farmer's market. And then we would make tomato sandwiches. So there was two different kinds of sandwiches that she used to make for us. And my sister hated them because she didn't like tomatoes. So for the grilled cheese tomato sandwich, you're going to want to take your favorite cheese. Um, I just have mozzarella cheese in a block right now, and I don't have like a cheese uh, slicer, so I just chopped it up with a knife. And you want them a little bit thick, but not, not too thick, because it's going to be nice and gooey. And I like three to four like slices like this on my sandwich. You can add more, you can add less. I am from Wisconsin, so of course I'm going to need as much cheese as possible. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut your tomatoes. These are actually pink tomatoes from the farmer's market, and they are just so sweet and delicious. Um, you don't have to use pink tomatoes. You can use um, any kind of like nice thick tomato. And make sure you get that core out. Yeah, maybe it looks like it wastes a little bit of tomato, but honestly, you have enough tomato to last you. So, um, cutting with a serrated knife is easiest with tomatoes because it doesn't squish the tomatoes and it gets a nice, nice cut. So, cut them kind of thick, um, but not too thick. And save that end piece as well. Um, you do want to rinse off your tomatoes, of course, before you even cook um, because you don't know what's on there. These ones are organic um, from the farmer's market, and I rinse them off anyway because there's probably people touching them. There we go. Look at those beautiful tomatoes. So now you want to get your, your pan ready and throw... I don't butter the outside of my bread. I just put it in a nonstick pan, and then I put... And that's whole wheat bread. And then I put the cheese on and the tomatoes on. And now we're going to make it essentially like grilled cheese. So then I decided, of course, I forgot to put extra cheese on the top. So I went back and I put more cheese on. There we go. Now it looks better. So cook it up just like a grilled cheese. Um, my grilled cheese, I like them to be more like dark and like almost burnt looking. Um, but you could just do it however you want to. I decided to put a lid on just to let it steam because the, the tomato does cool down the temperature. So the cheese is harder to melt. And that's how you make the first sandwich. So for the second one, you're just going to take your whole wheat bread or any kind of bread that you like and then your mayonnaise. I'm using vegan mayo and I like to put mayo on both sides of the bread because I like that even mayo taste. 
So just spread it on there however much or as little as you want. And then you're going to want to put your tomatoes on the sandwich. Oh yeah, look at those beautiful pink tomatoes. And then I like to add a little bit of garlic salt to bring out that flavor. Oh, it's so amazing, you guys. And then, essentially, you have your sandwich. So here we are. There's that, uh, that cold tomato sandwich with the mayo. And in the back, we got that grilled cheese with tomato. And I love both of these sandwiches. They're just like my grandma made. And they're super cheap. It's grilled cheese and tomatoes, you guys. I showed you how to cook it at the beginning. This is with mozzarella cheese, and it is simply amazing. The second one I wanted to taste test with you guys, well, not taste test because I know what it tastes like. I haven't had it since I was little, though, is the all original Grandma Phyllis. Her name was Phyllis. We'll call it the Grandma Phyllis uh, tomato sandwich recipe. She used to use white bread um, and mayo, real mayo. But I'm using vegan mayo, and I'm using wheat bread. But it's essentially the same sandwich. And then besides those two, oh my god, I showed you guys the burnt side. And besides those two amazing sandwiches, I'm going to show you guys what we did with the end pieces. No pieces went wasted in my grandma's house. So without further ado, let's get to it. And since I'm adulting now, I get to eat it with sriracha and ketchup. <laughs> so this was a cheap, sustainable way that we could have a nice sandwich. So let's try the grilled cheese sandwich first. I burnt it on one side. Oops. I always do that. This side looks much better. Let's see. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. If that doesn't take me back to childhood. Wow. You guys, I made these with pink tomatoes at the bar from the farmer's market. And if you guys like grilled tomatoes, you'd love this. The tomatoes taste grilled. The cheese is cheesy. The sriracha ketchup is amazing. Mmm. And the tomato is still so, so juicy. You guys, we used to eat this so much. Mmm. Mm. And I wanted to talk about a memory that I have with Grandma Phyllis. So a memory that regards the food. So we used to have this humongous pool in the backyard. Humongous. I mean, this thing could fit about 30 to 40 people. Humongous pool. We had a shallow one. And it had a deep end. And this is the earliest memory I can have with having tomato sandwiches and the pool involved. So what happened is we were playing badminton. In the pool. So hitting a little birdie back and forth. And my never, grandma never went in the pool. Be mostly because she needed to be out there to ca in case we were like drowning. And she needed to grab us. So she'd work on crossword puzzles and have her little glass of like wine or milk or whatever she wanted and she'd sit there with the dogs we always had two schnauzers but we only had, sorry we had one schnauzer named millie and carlos that's why i love schnauzers i was raised with schnauzers so thank you <laughs> and so she would sit outside and never went in the pool but one day she said girls i'm gonna be right back i'm going inside and so we're okay whatever she goes inside to go potty all the time you know She comes back outside with her swimming suit on, you guys. And my, my grandma's swimming suit was so cute. It was like this thick of black straps, and then it came down to the like the breast area. And it had like some floral print, like bright green and red and purple or whatever. And then it was black all the way down. And then we had like this ladder to climb into the pool because it was huge. <laughs> and so she climbed the ladder and was going in. And she played badminton with us, you guys. It was so fun. That was the first time I remember her coming into the pool and playing Batman. Mmm. Oh. So this sandwich is really nice and fresh. It's so juicy as you can see. The mayo hits it in just right area. And you guys saw me sprinkle some. 
a little bit of garlic salt on there and that just makes them breaks the whole I makes the whole sandwich oh it's delicious mm. this one's my favorite even over the grilled cheese but anyway she played badminton with us mm. and she of course whooped our ass <laughs> And so we're playing badminton. And then she brought out some pool toys. And what we had was like those throwing rings that they sink to the bottom of the pool and you dive down and pick up all the rings. And then we had like this little snake thing that went in the water. So we played with that. And I remember it being just amazing time. Well, it was getting close to dinner time and our neighbor had come over and said, Hey, Grandma Phyllis, you guys want some fresh fruits? I mean, some fresh vegetables, whatever. Because tomatoes are considered fruits, I guess. <laughs> they were always considered vegetables to me. <laughs> so Grandma went over. She got cucumbers and tomatoes. And so guess what was for dinner that night? Tomato sandwiches. Because, you know, she loved them. I loved them. My sister's like, oh, My sister did not like tomatoes. I don't even know. I think she just ate ramen noodles when we had tomato sandwiches. And let me show you one of these. Well, put it like this. There you go. One of these. This is the end. And so my grandma would go in the kitchen, get two slices of bread just like I did it. For this sandwich, she would do the mayo and the salt and the tomatoes. And for the sandwich, she would fry up some grilled cheese with tomatoes. But always, 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 I always get mad at her with this when she didn't invite me because at the end, of the tomatoes you don't really use them for cooking you know it's the tomato ends but she put a little dollop of mayo and a little tiny bit of salt on it and she would eat it and I can't tell you how amazing this tastes For y'all who don't like sandwiches, I mean don't like like raw tomatoes, this is not the video for you. But I hope you respect the fact that we grew I grew up on this. It was good and it's so good today. I don't know why I don't eat it more often to be honest. It is so amazing and it's actually quite filling. So that's how we would eat the ends. And it was always a special time with me for me. Well, my grandma would allow me to eat the ends with her. Mmm. Yeah. Want some? Mmm. So juicy and so good. Oh, so good. So it was always, it seemed to always be when we were in the summer, swimming in the pool, and Grandma would make tomato sandwiches. I think a lot of times she would make these tomato sandwiches when we were having like tomato soup too. So like another thing to dip this in would be like the tomato soup, so grilled cheese and tomato soup. Very classic, but we always love, love, love tomatoes. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. My grandma didn't like spicy. Mm. And honestly, we like never ate ketchup. Not even on like hot dogs or anything. We didn't really eat a lot. We didn't really eat like processed hot dogs either. I don't even think she ever made hot dogs. If y'all know my grandma Phyllis, let me know if she made hot dogs because I do not remember ever eating hot dogs. I remember having like hamburgers. But that's not like a classic re recipe that I remember my grandma by. So this series is going to be re recipes I remember my grandma by. Recipes I grew up on. And I really hope you guys like it. Mm. And I'll show you how to cook all of them, okay? There's no secret ingredients, but honestly, nobody can make it as good as she. Nobody. 
Mm. My grandma was just so beautiful, you guys. If I can find a picture of her in her younger days. Beautiful redhead. Beautiful skin. Beautiful smile. I remember she always used to tell me because she we used to like come down the stairs down to the living room and I always remember asking her who the lady in the picture was and grandma would say well it was me I was like no way that can't be you like but now that I'm older I realize that people I'm young and I'm gonna be old someday you know I'm not gonna look the same and I just I cherish that picture because she was so beautiful and even in her older days I believe she was a beautiful person She cared more than anybody in the world. She did scare me to death. Like, probably why I have anxiety disorder is because of my grandma. I'm just saying. Just saying. Like, when I... When you, when, <laughs> let me just save my memories for, for another time, okay? <laughs> okay, just one more. <laughs> so, I tried to run away once, right? This is right away, like, when I started getting my period. So, like, 11... So I remember packing pads up because she wouldn't let me use tampons so I used pads and right when I was about to leave the door she said there's a rapist on a loose you want to get raped <laughs> raped go out there and get raped go out there and get raped bye go out there and get raped <laughs> like and I went right back upstairs <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want to know more childhood stories that I cherish. This is going to be a really good series. And I want you to know. I did not have a peaches and pie childhood. I barely had a childhood. But there are positive things to everything. And my grandma brought so many positivities into my life. She actually brought no negativity in my life. Except for scaring me to death. <laughs> Other outside factors made it hard. And I can't believe she perse persevered through all the bullshit. So I love you. I love you, Grandma. I hope you're watching me share your recipes. And I hope you guys watching love her recipes. So stay tuned for the next week's recipe on Phyllis's <coughs> cooking. Bye!